Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Children's Online Sunday School. Hope you're having a great weekend. I hope that you have been able to get out and do something fun and um, maybe learn something new. But today, I hope that you're making plans to come on in to the church. We're having a full day of programming here. Um, but if you can't come, I'm glad that you decided to hop on here to YouTube and hear the story because today's story is going to be a good one. Today is one of my very favorite stories that we have to share together and it teaches us so many great things. It's from the book of Luke chapter 10 verses 29 through 37 and I'm going to read it straight from the Bible for you today. Um, on one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law, he replied. How do you read it? He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jer Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road. And when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too, a Levite, when he came to the place when saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring in oil and wine. Then he went and put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took him out of took out two denarii. And gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said. And when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expenses you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hand of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus said, go and do likewise. You know, when I read that story, I think it's a wonderful explanation of just who our neighbor is. You know, our neighbor is not just the person who lives in the house directly beside you or across the street or even in your neighborhood. Our neighbor is everybody who comes, we come into contact with. And this man, the man who was beaten, he was taken, he was really down on his luck. He'd had a really bad day. And he needed somebody to be his neighbor. He needed somebody to take pity on him. And two people passed right on by. They never stopped to help. But the third person, they did, he did stop and help. You know, he knew that he had been blessed and he had plenty of money. And he could share it with this man who had nothing anymore. But... You and I have opportunities all the time to share our blessings and to help out someone else. We need to just learn to recognize when someone is in need. Maybe we don't always see that they've been beaten and robbed, but maybe you have a friend who needs a friend, someone who's having a bad day, someone who didn't do well on a test, someone who was injured on the playground, someone whose mom and dad are separating and um, need you need to be a friend to them. It is our job as followers of Jesus because he told us to love our neighbors as ourselves, to do everything we can to help those that are around us, those that we see that need our help because we've been blessed. Um, this week, I want you to be thinking about the Good Samaritan and where can you be a Good Samaritan? Where can you help out um, someone who is in need? You know, it doesn't have to be something that costs a lot of money or something that um, takes up a lot of time. It might just be giving someone um, a pat on the back or sharing a bite of your lunch with them. Just something to be a good neighbor and a Good Samaritan. Let's pray. 
Father God, thank you for the many blessings that you have given us. Lord, we just ask you to be with us this week and be with um, our friends and to um, bring to our attention those who need a neighbor, those who we can be a good Samaritan to. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a great week. Hope I see you here at church soon.